You alright guys, how's it going? Back again, hello. Um, right. Starting off with something a little bit different. Um, I received a message from a mate of mine who I actually met through YouTube. Um, he's actually on my Facebook. Just so you guys know as well, my Facebook page is back up and running. I have signed myself back in, but I am going to be looking through a few things and basically making a few changes. Um, just because there's a few people in there that I'd rather not have on because they've caused me a lot of pain, a lot of effort, and generally just a lot of shit. So, you know. But anyway, guys. Now, as I said, there's a fella on YouTube that basically I admire a lot. Um, and by the looks of things, he, he admires me a lot as well. He thinks I'm a great guy. I think he's a cracking guy. Um, basically, me and my missus are both mates with him. Um, he met him and his missus, even though we've never met his missus, but we will get round to that, mate. We will, I promise you. Um, but basically, he gave me a big shout out in his last video, and it's <laughs> unexpected, mate. Thanks very much. Absolutely awesome of you. Um, and basically, that is the Ryan Shand. Um, basically, Ryan, you crack up bloke, mate. Absolutely awesome. Um, now, moving on a little bit. Obviously, I want to thank you for that, um, but now I want to go on about something which kind of touched a little nerve. Um, on my last video, I said I was going to be doing, um, obviously, a few E3 things, and basically I missed that out completely. Um, basically, something propped up, and I was stuck in the situation, which it sucked, but it's been great. It's been great. Um, but... To be fair, it's something that really, really made me think that I could really, I, I, don't, I don't know, I can look at this situ situation in a bad way, but also in a good way. Now, E3 for me was fantastic. Um, there's a few things on there which knocked me off my pedestal. I, I was on my high horse. I, I was literally stood there watching every single move that these companies made and I was just thinking what crap are you going to come up with are you going to come up with something good bad ugly didn't matter I was sat there thinking Ugh. but basically I did um, I think it was a Sony one the last time when I did it and I was pretty damn impressed with um, a few things um, but it wasn't until Square Enix took that to its ultimate thing and announced a few other things, which I didn't think they were going to they were going to kind of touch on. To be fair, um, now <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, I've never been a Hitman fan. And grill me all you want for that. Just grill me all you want. I really don't care. But there is a reason for that. Um, to me, the first Hitman games were a bit, they were meant to be kind of that whole assassin kind of outlook on things. And it didn't kind of work out that way. It was a little bit tedious in the first two games and it kind of put me off for the rest of the series. And I've not played any other one. Um, but that was just my mind. It's not towards anybody else. I'm just saying, you know, it it touched on that little scenario and it did really, really kind of touch on a nerve which I, I just kind of didn't go back to it. Now, saying that, keeping that in mind, there was an announcement from Square Enix which put me on a little bit of a... I'm not half and half. Now, they are making another Hitman game. Um, as you guys probably already know, but this Hitman game is going to be evolving over its lifespan. There is gonna be, there is a good, basically one game, um, and basically the idea of it is is if you miss a target one day, you will never be able to get that target again. You will it'll have gone, disappeared into the void. Now that idea does actually appeal to me. It, it does. It sounds like a really good game. Now, my issue with it is the fact that 
to me, it could well be a whole online experience, completely whole. Um, the single campaign, there might not even be one. Um, the multiplayer side of things, it's one of them. You either hit your targets or you don't. And then if you don't hit your target, it's gone. Now, if you guys know me, like a lot of people do, I am purely a retro gamer. Um, well, not purely a retro gamer. I prefer my retro gaming over anything else. Um, unfortunately, that had to stop for a while, which I was gutted about because I ended up getting rid of my other consoles and stuff. Um, because we needed the cash and whatnot. But I have come up with an alternative for that. Um, because at some point, I do want to invest in the Retron 5, which, as you guys might well know, is a console which plays most format games, but it also plays Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advanced games as well, which is going to be awesome for me. Um, but it means I can play them either on that thing there, or that. Um, I have considered hooking it up to the big TV, but I have got a lot hooked up to that at the moment. I've got basically my Xbox One, a PS4, and also my Skybox, which is actually hooked up through my Xbox One. Um, because obviously you can watch TV through it. Um, what really bugs me, to be honest, is the fact that this whole online obsession that everybody's kind of putting themselves in is going to be a long, long kind of stretch because it essentially means that no game has an ending. It, Hitman, for instance, it's going to keep on going. And going and going and going and going. There's going to be no end. It's going to be essentially um, a role-playing game with the Hitman name that's similar to kind of World of Warcraft, which, don't, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against online gaming. For you guys that online game, awesome stuff. Um, I've tried online gaming. I've tried being interactive with those people, but I just find it's not my scene. It's not my kind of push up get like I don't know how to explain it but it doesn't kind of suit me I prefer for instance going on a game and getting myself immersed in that game without somebody breathing down my neck and going yeah that's that that's that that's that I actually had an argument with a guy at work as well which really annoyed me um about this the whole online gaming because he, he's been mithering me for months to go on basically Neverwinter which I have thought about trying but you know it's one of them um, because it's free to download on the Xbox One um, and he's been mithering me to do it um, I had another guy at work mithering me to get Grand Theft Auto 5 for the Xbox One I've already got Grand Theft Auto 5 and I don't this might be me coming across as old fashioned, but I don't find the point in buying a second game just because somebody's online with it. You, if you get my drift, I'm only going to use one aspect of that game. I'm not going to play through the story or anything like that because I'm already doing so on a different console. Um, I currently have Grand Theft Auto V for my Xbox 360, and I, don't get me wrong, I love the game. It's not a case of that, it's just basically I have this argument and need. It basically I said, oh, why don't you go online? It's a case of, well, I don't see the point. It doesn't kind of entertain me. Like, to me, if somebody makes a game that's purely online, then obviously that's going to be a jump for me because it's, it's only going to have one aspect of the game. You're going to have the online part of it, and then that's it. Whereas if people turn around and say, oh, why don't you play on Halo online? Because... The developers have spent that much time on a story for a game. Are you going to ignore that? They've gone to all that effort to try and create these cutscenes that look spectacular. Um, for, for instance, one that gets me is um, Halo 4. Now, looking at that game, it reminded first time playing it, it reminded me a lot of playing first time through Halo 2. You have some masterful views of buildings and things like that when you're going around shooting. And it looks fantastic. Same with Halo 4. You come out of what essentially is a canyon. 
into like this open crater with this just big structure coming out of it and it looks fantastic it those developers have gone to that effort to try and make that story that immersive and all people kind of do is jump into the online mode and go yeah this is a good online play of world if you played the story and I will admit that sometimes I've got a little bit defensive and I've thought why what what exactly are you doing why but that's just my sense of gaming it's like if somebody brought out a multiplayer Castlevania and they went to the whole story of hiring big name actors like say Sean Bean for instance or Patrick Stewart and then turning around and going so have you played through Castlevania? No. If you played it at all? Yeah I've been online. Just... Uh, it annoys me but you know it's one of them it's everyone to their own but anyway going back to the thing at hand I've come a lot off topic um, but this Hitman game, with it being solely online, I might actually give it a bash. I might actually just look at it and go, right, okay, then I'll go for that. That looks good. It looks awesome. Um, but that said, there's other things that Square Enix showed off, which was pretty impressive. Um, one, for instance, was Tomb Raider. Well, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which does look pretty good, but... It looks a lot like an Uncharted ripoff, and I know a lot of people have said it. I watched IGN a few weeks ago, and they went on about it. Um, they also did um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which looks awesome. Um, you guys know I went on a tangent when Sony showed the trailer for the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I went ape shit. It's So much so I watched Advent Children last night, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. If you haven't seen it, go and buy it, please, because it's awesome. But what I would suggest is go and buy the Blu-ray version of it, because it makes a hell of a lot more sense. Um, the DVD version is only about an hour and 45 minutes long, whereas the Blu-ray is just over two hours. Um, but for some reason, the DVD version of it does cut a lot of the story out. I'm not sure if that was a limitation of the disc or whatever, but... It, it can come across as very confusing sometimes, so go out and buy the Blu-ray version of it, because you'll you'll thank me later. Um, now, the other thing as well, which I am deadly looking forward to, and I'm going to have to make this quick because I'm going out in a bit, um, is... you got to know what I'm going to say. You, you've got to, guys. Come on. Come on. You've, you've got to know what I'm going to say. Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, the reason I'm so happy about this is I mentioned it last time. Right. The last game, or main game in the series, without spin-offs being on the DS and all that lot, was Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, actually, no, t I tell a lie. It was Kingdom Hearts 2 in the UK. Over in America, or South, uh, North America, um, they got bloody Chain of Memories remastered for the PS2, and I was gutted. But yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm so looking forward to that game. Um, it's looking up to be a crack-up game. So, you know, it's looking awesome. So, yeah, I'll leave you with those thoughts, doing my little thing. And thanks again, Ryan. You just When you sent me that message, it made my day. I was, you know, thinking about restarting my whole schedule for the... Um, schedule? Schedule for this... Um, videos and basically that's what I'm going to start doing my videos on a Sunday so <coughs> sorry um, what I've thought about doing as well is basically doing some odd bits and pieces during the week that I might upload like snippets of my daily gaming or something like that which I'm looking forward to doing um, I'm working on that so bear with me and we'll see what happens um, but for now obviously the Sunday is my main prospect and I've got a topic for each one which it's going to look really good. Anyway, thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all you guys that subscribed and still are subscribing. And it's been awesome. Absolutely awesome. And like I said, Ryan, thanks again. You're just a crack-up block. Um, I'll probably message you at some point as well because I'm after knowing a few things as well. So I shall get hold of you at some point and 
enjoy. Have a good day, guys. Happy gaming, and I shall see you guys again soon. See you later.